Hey everybody, so the world I come to you guys with part 27 of Pokemon Sword, the only games where you get to Dynamax Adventure. Um Oh we got the futuristic monocle! Yeah baby! Exactly what I wanted from this. Now I'm waiting for my vape order to come in today. I'm hoping it comes in soon. Oh yeah, I forgot we continued the story and there goes Peony. I wonder where he's running to. Oh, to the town. So anyways, we did catch a few Pokemon. So we have Crystal, Phoenix, Ramsey, Krampus, Odin, and Wuxi as part of our team now. And Crystal has... Liquidation, Extra Sensory, Extreme Speed, Calm Mind. Then we have Heat Wave, Wing Attack, Leer, Fire Spin, Super Power, Mega Horn, Wood Hammer, Scary Face. Um, Thunder, Drill Peck, Braybird, and Agility. So we'll use, um, how about Odin? I think Odin would be cool. <clears throat> Anyways, let's continue on our journey. Whoa, I almost ran into that turd. I forgot my controller's not plugged in anymore, so its controls are a little more, uh, sensitive. I think it's because the electrical current that goes to your controller when it's charging kind of throws it off. And hey, we made it to the town. They're growing vegetables in the middle of winter in Freezington. Another visitor, yes. You're the mayor, eh? Yeah, I'm here to learn about the King of Bountiful Harvests. Boat neck sweatshirt. Hmm. Cool. Huh, we can take our Pokemon out of its Pokeball. Hey, Peony! God, this man is just so over the top. Oh, he also has a Dynamax band. Though I did see an... Oh, God. Zapdos, don't do that to me, man. Where was that item? It was over here. Hey, it's a Sfeel. I like me a Sfeel. Wait, how do I get that? Oh, I have to go around behind the grass. Hey, you're all Pokemon we've already seen. Zapdos, you're kind of taking up a lot of my screen, pal. And a piece of charcoal. It powers up fire moves. So, you know what? That's actually super useful. Um, wait, why did I say Life Orb was new? I had Life Orb on one of my Pokemon, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Anyways, we'll give the charcoal to Phoenix. We'll give the leftover... I don't know. I, there's only certain Pokemon I want to keep. We'll give the Life Orb to Odin. Um, hmm. We'll give the... Uh, I don't know. I guess I don't have... Um, what's the water power-up item? Mystic Water. So I can't power up Suicune with that. Anyways, let's go check out the statue over here that they want us to check out. It looks kind of funny. But some of this feels like something's missing. You mean because it just they just look ridiculous? Why is it some weird dude riding a llama? That's what it looks like, is a guy riding a freaking llama. Oh wait, hang on, there's an invisible item. A wishing piece, nice! Free Dynamax. Well, raid. Hey, I... Tried going in the door. Why didn't go in the first time? Hey, Peony. How's your little house doing, man? What are we up to? It's our base camp, eh? Oh, might as well have a drink while I'm going through all this dialogue. The big headed Pokemon. Hulk and Dot Face Giants, eh?
I assume he's talking about the Reggies. Yeah, I'll go on an adventure with you, sir. Well, your daughter gives us cool stuff. Not gonna let that happen, okay. Yay, we got our expedition uniform! That would honestly make a good thumbnail for this video. Yeah, we can change in the bedroom. Oh yeah, we get different color scarves. Though, I think there's only like four or five. Legendary Clue 1. Oh, that's easy enough. Oh yeah, see? It's clearly missing its headpiece. I bet you this one's the Reggies, right? Yep, the Reggies. Sucking in the sun, blah blah, lies the temple where Ice Giant sleeps. We... Something together, living... Something of snow. Legendary Clue 3. Oh, the legendary bird Pokemon. Yeah, you have to go to the tree. Yeah, remember I said there were Galarian forms of the legendary birds? Yeah. The sacred bonds of S Sovereign and Steed. Its head isn't as massive as in my notes. Want to change back in usual clothes? No. A Master Ball? Nice. We do need to buy more Ultra Balls though before we continue to collect a lot of these Pokemon. I want this. This looks like the head. Can I have it please? Yeah, your pillow. You left your favorite pillow at home, eh? Yeah, it does have something. It's clearly missing its head. You clearly have a picture of it, and it's missing its darn head. A wooden crown. All right, let's continue on. I guess it's showing us the path to the next part of the game, I guess. I also forgot to turn the mute button off my computer, but it doesn't do anything because they didn't have any audio on. There's a giant tree. There's clearly a raid den over there. Man, I had pizza and I had the hiccups. Like, I get it, game. We're in freezing tin. Nothing new. Let's put the head on you. Plop the head on you. Russell, Russell, schwunk. There, that looks normal. It still looks like he's riding a llama. There's no llama Pokemon. Like Crow around. Who's around here? Who are you? Does it want you to follow it? Well, judging by the fact that the legendary Pokemon hasn't been seen for how long, it seems like it would want us to follow it. Hey, pal. I got a big legendary bird behind me. Don't don't fear that. Crocron. Do you want to ready a Pokeball? Croc Rockron. Mysterious has appeared. <laughs> okay, Odin. Crow Rowton! Um. You're kind of a mysterious level there, Cal. Uh, uh, dude, person. Drill packet! Side shock. I wonder how much damage it does. Ah, eh, that didn't do much. Now catch this drill pack! Yeah, guess what? It's, it's grass psychic for those who don't know. Actually, can you throw a Pokeball at it? You can't throw a Pokeball because it won't let its guard down. It'll outspeed us. Go for Psy- That's Psychic and Psyshock. That's funny. They actually did about the same. 
And you're gone. So much for being this strong, mysterious Pokemon. The music is kind of peaceful, though. Wow, that's some good experience, even for an army of legendary Pokemon. Oh my god, he just says crown over and over. Cr crown, crown, crown! Who are you? Darn thing keeps speaking Pokemon. Oi, oi, what's up? Yo, this guy's so weird. Huh? What a massive noggin! Well, what's this? Ah! Oh yeah, now you can talk to us. Are you the Pokemon? Calyrex, I am known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Okay, so we know the legendary's name now. What's your favor? The people have forgotten about you. Alright, so now we have to go and talk to everybody to see if they know anything about this mysterious Pokemon. Zapdos, can you, like, get out of the way? You're just a wee bit big. Hey, Spiel Lady. You're rather busy and rather not do anything right now. Are you the mayor? No. Dude, don't take him for advantage. Okay, so you still know about, um... What you ladies? Steal bodies away? Oh, he doesn't steal the body. He just talks to you through a human body. Because he's a psychic Pokemon. He's kind of like... That's not who I want to talk to. It's kind of like how Entei can talk, but yet he's not a psychic type, which is really weird. They seem to have forgotten. Human faith, eh? Four-legged Pokemon that used to ride across the land. He needs his Pokemon to gain his power. Hey, Peony, you're back normal, buddy. Hey! Poor dude. Find Frizzington's mayor to get information. Okay, so now we have to go find the mayor, which is usually at the top of his house. Oh, top of the hill. The mayor's not home at the moment. He went to look in Giant's bed. Okay. So we have to continue. Frostpoint Field. Oh, there's the Dynamax tree. Now, the legendary birds can be a little annoying. One you have to race, one you have to cut off. And then the other one kind of you whistle at, I believe, and it kind of hears you and comes for you. Wow, double and jinxes. Cool. Not really. I don't need any more doubles in my life. We got an item over here. Focus Sash. We already know what that does. Plus, it's our second one already. I thought I seen something here. XP Candy Medium. I'm gonna grab all these because these watts are useful. We got an Audino. Also, where do you heal your Pokemon in this area? And I never really remember where you do that. Berry Tree, Doubles, Abomb the Snows, Nidoran, Snorlax, Nidoran. Oh, what's this? We have a door. <laughs> Giants was supposed to be. The terrible titans lurking locked away. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. 
Alrighty. Oh, we got a TR over here. Oh, it's Registeel then, isn't it? Something is written on it. Let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. Now, I believe this is where you whistle. Oops. Ta-da! I thought for a long time it was like a, a sound-based move, but... Now let's step on all these little things. Come on. Ugh. Something changed in the air. Now you know what? Just to be safe, I don't know how well this is gonna go. Wait, looking down on you. I touched the stupid button. Yeah, that's Registeel, you can tell by that doo 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 doo. We found Registeel! Come on, Odin. Let's capture the sti- Wait, we healed up. Go for the thunder! Zap this thing into oblivion. Paralyze it. Ah! Charge beam! I love the sound effect of that. That actually sounds good. Paralyze it, please. Get it down to low health and paralyze. That's all we want. Or, you know, just to straight up kill it. That worked out well. Totally worked out well. Not really. Well, I'm gonna check my vape order here while we load back into the game. Oh, it's out for delivery. As of an hour ago. Alrighty. So, um, buddy, you're a little strong. So we'll use... Krampus. I know Krampus is weak to him. But he might have a better chance of not knocking him out in two shots. Oh, I thought the music cut out. I'm like, what happened? There's Registeel. We'll go for a lash out. Hey, oh, catch these tentacles. I have a feeling that move is to. Uh oh. Oof. You know what? We can go over this to try and get rid of some special attack. I know it's not very effective, but at least we can weaken them. And it didn't do anything. And he went for charge beam of all things. Of course he did. I guess we'll just go for another lash out to get as much damage as possible before we faint. Catch these! Will we survive this? I don't know. Oh, we did, because we can hear beeping. Which means we can get another... Uh-oh. Another attack off. Knock him down to red, please. Yeah, that crit was perfect. And he went for another charge beam. Of course he did. Ow. I love this music, though. Um, no, you have the ability to, um, heal him. I don't want that. So let's set up Moltres. Okay, so Moltres, let's see what we got for Pokeballs, buddy. We only have three Ultra Balls, so we'll try these. He's the same level as this, so the level ball won't work. He's like, what? Heavy Slam. They actually did quite a bit of damage, though, because Registeel is heavy. He's not very big. Like, look at him in comparison to, um, Moltres. Or it. It's... Legendaries usually don't have genders. Like I said, there are a few that do, but these ones don't. Wow, and two Pokeballs and we caught it. Well, two Ultra Balls. But we still got Registeel. 
bad experience, though. And no, I'm not gonna give a name to him. I'll send him to a box. But we need to go get more Pokeballs. Yay, we got it. Beep, beep, beep. Oi! Okay, so we need to go get Pokeballs. It looks like the mayor is in this part of town. But we need Pokeballs, and I don't think there's a store here. Though, this area does have a lot more, um... Uh, what you call it? Flight areas than the Isle of Armor did. Also, it's like quadruple the size of the Isle of Armor. Which just proves that the first DLC was like mediocre. I am here to buy Ultra Balls. We can buy 600. I don't know if I want 600. We'll buy quite a few. Probably like 200. This is taking forever. You know what? We'll just buy that many. And we also get 13 Premier Balls for that. Anyways, let's continue on our journey. I don't know how long I want this episode to be because it's pretty much just like a collectathon type video, I guess. Like, yes, we are progressing with the story. Like, all of this is technically part of the story. Catching the legendaries, doing all that. We got a bronze on here, which is kind of cool, I guess. Oh, we got an item. Hopefully it's a competitive item. Max potion. Always useful. Wait, I forgot to heal up. Yeah, I forgot to heal up. Moltres, are you following? Hey, it's a stone, uh, stone journer. I totally forgot that they were even in this part of the game. Like, they're very rare in the normal game. But a lot of the really rare Pokemon became more common in the DLC. Like, Grimmsnarl just walks around here. Clefable just walks around here. Nidorinos and Nidorans are really cool to see again. And they're still pretty good this generation. It's not like they got nerfed or anything like that. So that's nice. I don't know. They came back, what, this DLC? Or, yeah, it was this DLC, not last DLC. Aerodactyl came back to this DLC. All the fossil Pokemon except Gen f uh, 4. Which made people believe that Gen 4 remakes were next, and they are. Frostpoint Field. The Max Revive is always useful. Oh, this is just... Is this Freezington? It is. It's Freezington from a different angle. Wise Glasses power, powers up special moves. It's essentially the muscle band, but for special moves. 200 more watts. There's the giant tree. God, why does that have to be foggy? That's why there's Clefairies and Mimikyus, apparently. Cracked Pot. I believe Mimikyus, though, were in the base game. They just are really rare to find, and we found a hatch room, I think. Yeah, there's a hatch room. Why are you here? I really don't care about you. I don't want you. You're such a weak Pokemon anyway. Stone Journer's just like, oh, I, hey, there's the mayor. Stone Journer's just kind of tromping through everything. Um, anything else around here before we talk to the mayor? Yeah, see, Clefable is just everywhere. There's a Raid Den over there. A Greed Int of all stupid Pokemon. Hey, Mayor. Yeah, all your fields aren't good. The soil is barren. The Loyal Steed. Now we have to go all the way back? Really? Hmm. I guess we can go around and see what else is around here. Go see if we can find some more of the Reggies. Hey, a Chandelure, a Nido King of all Pokemon? Like, see what I mean? Ooh, that evolves Electabuzz into Electivire. Sylveon's just chilling around here. Oh, there's another TR over there. I kind of want that. Barboaches and Whiskashes, can you uh, not jump in my way, please? Oh, my Lodic is here. Normally, this was only found at a very specific time during very specific weather in the uh, wild area. 
but it can also show up here, which is pretty cool. And Encore, which isn't bad in competitive play, but honestly, it's kind of a weird move to get at this point in the game. Oh, Basculin's down there. I think Basculin was part of the base game too, I think. Or he might have been the first DLC. All I know is he wasn't part of the Crown Tundra DLC. Can we stop bumping into everything and getting stuck? That's kind of annoying. Alright, what do we got over here? Morgrim's here. See, it's got to be because of the fog that all the fairy Pokemon are showing up. Who do you run into? Nidoran. Specifically Nidoran female. I can't wait to start playing Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. That game is going to be fun. Not because, um, I don't really like the catching mechanic. I don't use the whole Pokemon Go mechanic, but I still like the game. What's this place? Snow Slide Slope. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That came out of nowhere. Ah, Earthquake. We'll buy Earthquake. You never know when you're going to use that. Ooh, Fire Blast as well. Um, Waterfall. Those are some good moves you got there, buddy. Thank you. I heard a Cryogonal. Yep, it was a Cryogonal. Bear Tick is here as well. Oh, we got another item. Hopefully something good. Okay, full heal. Not bad. Is that really the first full heal we found all game? Man, normally Pokemon games are obsessed with giving you things like full heals. Revive. Close combat. Now that's a solid TR to get. It's probably one of the best fighting moves. It and um, Focus Blast being the special one. We really need more special fighting moves and more special fighting Pokemon. Well, what's over this way? There's Beldums in here, which are really cool. Glalie's back. More Cryogonals. Bear Ticks. Nothing over the top fancy so far. Metagross! Now that is a beast! Metagross is just one of those really cool Pokemon Amora. Get out of the way. Alright, is this a dead end? Now oh, there's an item here. This one might be good because of how tucked away it is. Throat Spray. Powers up sp uh, sound... After you use a sound based move, it powers up special type moves. And Oh! It's another Reggie door. Right on! So we'll see who's in here. A dusk stone, cool. Anything over here? Oh, we got his TR, I'm assuming, which is probably Oh, it's, it must be red ice cuz that's ice beam, which is a really solid TR. Yeah, see what I mean? The TMs in this game are really bad compared to the TRs. Okay, walk together with a living crystal of snow. Um Hang on, which one is this? Is this the Never Melt Ice? Maybe. Uh, walk together with a living piece of snow. Let's see. Guys, would you believe and then what we need to do is we need to catch our Cryogonal. I heard you, Cryogonal. Where are you? I heard you. I know that was your cry. Not the Beldums. There you are, you little freakishly annoying snowflake. I believe this is the most annoying one to get into. Alright. Um, we're gonna go for Wing Attack, just to do some damage to it. Cryogonals are hard to catch, by the way. Sheer Cold, that wouldn't affect me. Now, can we, uh, make sure this isn't annoying to capture, because this is gonna be annoying. I hate catching Cryogonal, its catch rate is so low. And we catch it in the first go. Cool. Ah, Wooshi's level 77. Okay, Cryogonal, we need you. 
We need to add Cryogonal to the party, so we'll just get rid of, um... Krampus. Alright, so now we need to go back to that door. Am I even going the right way? Am I going the right way? Which way did I end up? Oh, I was going the right way. You just can't see it from that little tucked away spot. Open sesame. Thank you. Hmm. Man, sometimes the, uh... Like, free roam walking here is really weird. Which they kept in the remakes of Diamond and Pearl, by the way. Nyom. The air has changed. Alright, so... You, my friend, are the ice one, and you're specially defensive. Actually, it's probably the most offensive out of all of them. Also, my favorite Reggie, including the new Reggies, it's still my favorite. Jackie! Reggie Ice! Or, sorry, it's Reg Ice. Hey, you. What do you want, Zapdos? I do not like your kind in my cave. Do not zap him with Seth Thunder. No! I see wind! Freeze, bird! This thing doesn't like us. I wonder if Drill Peck would do enough to kill it. I hope not. Oh, perfect. That, th that thing just has straight up Zap Cannon, man. Hey, Cryogonal, you just, you know, be a wall until we can catch this thing. Thank you. And now we'll use an Ultra Ball. You know what? A Dusk Ball might work. It is in a cave. At least I assume this is considered a cave. Oh. Oh, I jinxed it by saying something. How could I? Zap Cannon. Man, you're hitting 50 accuracy moves. And it's guaranteed to paralyze if the Pokemon can be paralyzed. It won't affect Pokemon with Limber or Electric type, so that's why Zapdos wouldn't have got paralyzed. Oh, you turd. Oh man, Ice Beam now. Oh, we lived on 2 HP! See what I mean by, like, certain moves aren't good against their own type, yet other ones are. Fighting's normal against fighting, normal's normal against normal. I really don't get why certain moves do more to other... Are resistant by other types, like water's resisted by water, grass is resisted by grass, ice, ice, electric, electric. Ground isn't. Rock isn't. Ghost is super effective against each other. Crystal, let's go. Yeah. Release the pressure. Catch this Ultra Ball, fool. Oh, I thought by being quiet it might get caught. Amnesia. Now it has even higher special defense. It's kind of cool, but whatever. Oh no, it broke out again! Now use Zap Cannon. Oh, it finally missed one, and because of pressure, he should be out of Zap Cannon. So we don't have to worry about getting electrified anymore. Or electrocuted. There is a move called Electrify, by the way. Very few Pokemon get it, though. Ice Beam. Cool. Ow. Actually, did quite a bit. Oh, it was a crit. Come on, catch me this Reg Ice, please. I would like this Reg Ice for my actual team, too, because I love Reg Ice. Get in the Pokeball, you freaking Ice Boy. Registeel is probably like, man, why was I caught so easy? My brother's super difficult to catch. Like, my lord, dude. Come on. 
Amnesia again. I wonder what he would look like upside down. Come on, let's go for old tactics. Push all the buttons. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Stay in your Pokeball, dude. How hard is it for you to stay in there? I refuse to be captured by such a mediocre trainer using such mediocre Pokemon, for I am the god Pokemon. <laughs> Catch this beam. Bruh. At least he's not freezing us. If I snap my fingers, will we catch it? So close. Maybe we snap with my uh, right hand this time. That was a crit, really? Oh yeah, let's try the snap again. Right when the Pokeball closes. Ready? There we go. Oh, failure. Amnesia again. Now he's max special defense. Come on, fool. Get captured and stay captured. I have this issue on my regular playthrough too with Regice being the annoying one to capture. Even the new legendaries weren't an issue. I think I only had issues with Calyrex and um... What's his face? Regice. I don't think Regirock was hard to capture either. This guy's got a pretty solid move pool, honestly. He's got like Icy Wind, Ice Beam, Amnesia, and Zap Cannon. Man, all those Pokeballs we got, we're gonna burn through them here pretty soon. The final thing we're gonna do in this Let's Play, though, is the Galarian Star Tournament, which I believe we have to beat the main story of this DLC. Plus, we also have to beat the main story still. We still have to catch uh, Zacian. Man, he took down our Suicune finally. Come on, Wushi. Your time to shine, buddy. I believe our ability is inner focus. Actually, I don't know what Wushi's ability is. I really don't. Oh my god, stay in the Pokeball. Man. Yeah. I swear the rest of this video is just going to be us capturing Regice because he's a freaking turd of a Pokemon and won't stay in his goddamn Pokeball. Just stay, please, buddy. I love you. Apparently sweet-talking it also doesn't help. Also, it's funny. I, re I started recording exactly at noon, so it's we're 30 minute, 38 minutes in and it's 12.38. I didn't notice that. That's kind of funny. We're going to have to heal up after this. Okay, you piece of shite. Maybe if we badmouth it. All you are is a stupid iceberg that's doomed because of global warming. You're never going to get anywhere in life because you're going to be nothing more than a puddle with, what, eight eyes? Mr. Eight-Eyed Puzzle Piece Puddle Poop Monster Piece of Poo? Okay, that didn't work. I love you, Red Ice. You're the best legendary ever created. He actually is, in my opinion. He's my favorite legendary. Him and Articuno. Come on, buddy. Ice types are my babies. Come on, little boy. Come on. Or are you a girl? Come on, little girl. You got this. Okay, it's a boy. It's not a girl. I don't care, Wooshi, that the battle isn't going the way you want. Why do you talk to me so much? Okay, buddy. We want you on part of the team. You get the cool Pokeball. Okay, maybe not. Why does this guy not want to go in a Pokeball? Bro, a Pokeball now, please. My god, this guy is annoying. Okay, maybe we just don't say anything. Start now. Nope, he didn't even like that. Man, how are we gonna get this guy to stay in the stupid Pokeball?
Mm. Let's go. I love you, buddy. Please stay in the Pokeball. Please, please, big boy. I'm about to send you into oblivion there, Regis. If you don't get in this Pokeball, I'm gonna shatter you like an icicle falling on the pavement. Dude, I'm literally this close to breaking you into a million little pieces of ice shards. Now stay in here before I throw you on in the sun. Where you can melt and then die. My god, just stay in the Pokeball. How hard is it for you to stay in the Pokeball? Oh my god. Dude, Pokeball, now. Okay, you want an actual Pokeball? Here, have a Pokeball. You don't want to be in a stupid, ugly Ultra Ball? Enjoy the Pokeball. No? You want a Great Ball? Do you want a blue Pokeball because you're blue? Here, have a blue Pokeball because you're freaking blue, man. Will this help you? Why don't you stay in your Pokeball? You turd of a Pokemon. Ball, now, stay, please. Guys, this is annoying. You have no idea how annoying this is. Just stay in the Pokeball. Now, please. I'm not ending this video until you're in this Pokeball, dude. Why doesn't he want to go in? I don't have any way to paralyze him or anything. Just stay in the Pokeball. Please, for the love of God. We don't have many more options, buddy. Just stay... <clears throat> he's going to run out of PP, and then he's going to use Struggle and kill himself. That's, that's, that's the issue. They're not like trainers in the old games where they had infinite PP and you couldn't stall them. Okay, I'll just shut up. Nothing works. Do you want to drink a Coca-Cola there, buddy? Please? Coca-Cola is all yours. You can use it to cool down. Can you cool down my uh, Coke there, buddy? Please? I'm going to watch it on the recording. Really? On the last shake, buddy. Okay, so apparently looking at the recording is better. So watch it on the recording. Here we go. Wow, that time he didn't even shake once. At this point, you think stat boost would, would be the reasoning why he's not being captured. Hmm. Oh, great. It has no moves left. Eh. And it died. And that's the end of that. Oh, my God. Anyways, guys, I'll catch him, like, off screen. And then I'll um, start the next episode. So stay tuned for that, guys. Bye-bye.